Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most anticipated action RPGs of the year, Black Myth Wukong. Developed by Game Science, this game has been turning heads with its stunning visuals and intriguing gameplay mechanics. So, let's jump right in and let's see what all the hype is about. First off, let's talk about Black Myth Wukong is all about. The game science the developers describe it as an action RPG but they carefully avoid labelling it as like a, a cells like game. Sure it has its share of boss fights, dodge mechanics and stamina management but it doesn't fully adhere to the traditional souls formula. Black Myth Wukong is inspired by the classic Chinese novel Journey to the West and you play as the legendary Monkey King, Sun Wukong. This game promises to blend rich storytelling with intense action, creating an experience that's both epic and personal. The story begins with our hero, Wukong, the destined one, embarking on an adventure that takes place in a fantastical version of ancient China. This game setting is refreshing take on the fantasy drawing heavily from Chinese mythology. From the get go you're thrust into a world teeming with mystical creatures, ancient temples and lush landscapes. The narrative is woven with elements of mystical and folklore. One of the first areas you explore is the sun dapped black wind mountain where you encounter kobold like canine warriors. The game does a fantastic job of making you feel like you're part of a grand legend with every corner of the world meticulously crafted to immense you in the lore. One of the standout features of Black Myth Wukong is its visual presentation. Powered by Unreal Engine 5, this game looks absolutely stunning. The level of detail is painstaking and it runs smoothly even on high settings. Environments are richly detailed from the dense forest to the ancient ruins. Each location is brimming with life and colour. But however, this game of detail sometimes works against it. The intricate environments can make it unclear where you can and cannot go leading to some frustrating invisible walls. This can break immersion and make exploration feel a bit linear at times, but despite this, the graphical fidelity and artistic design more than make up for these minor setbacks. But let's go, let's move on to the sound design. Black Myth Wukong delivers an auditory experience that matches its visual splendor. The sound effects are crisp and impactful. Every swing of your staff, the thud of landing a heavy blow and the subtile ambulant noises of the environment are all meticulously crafted to enhance immersion. The music deserves special mention. The score is a beautiful blend of traditional Chinese instruments and orchestral compositions setting the tone for your epic journey. It rises and falls with the action, adding an emotional depth to your adventures. The voice acting, even though it's in Chinese, is impressive and brings the characters to life, making the story just that more engaging. Now, let's get into the gameplay mechanics, which is where Black Myth Wukong truly shines. The combat is fast paced and fluid, with Wukong welding his iconic staff. The light attacks are quick and responsive, allowing you to chain together combos with ease. And the heavy attacks, on the other hand, are more strategic. You can't just spam heavy attacks, you need to charge them up for maximum effect. And the dodge mechanic is also another crucial element. At first, the timing for a perfect dodge 
feels a bit off almost as if you need to dodge when you get hit rather than just before but once you get the hang of it it becomes second nature there's no traditional parry system but you can deflect some ranged attacks with your staff adding a dynamic element to the combat black myth wukong it features an expansive skill tree and a variety of upgrades you can reset your skill tree at any time which encourages exploration there are three main skill trees one being spells one for general abilities and one for staff fighting styles each tree offers unique upgrades that can drastically change how you approach combat energy management plays a big role here certain attacks require energy points which you can accumulate through dealing damage and performing the perfect dodges. I found myself gravitating towards upgrades that enhance my dodge and reduce stamina skills, but there's plenty of room to tailor Wukong's ability to your playstyle. For example, one upgrade it allows you to build a charge while sprinting, similar to the hammer in Monster Hunter. This ability it lets you unleash a charged attack on the move, adding a more layer of strategic to your encounters. Another upgrade enhances the range of your light attacks, making it easier to hit multiple energies at once. The boss fights are highlight, each offering a unique challenge, from hulking beasts to nimble spellcasters, each boss requires a different approach and the animations are superb with clear attack that tells you and gives you the chance to dodge and counter attack effectively. Even on the first attempt you can start to read their movements making each victory feel earned. And in the demo I encountered seven bosses each with its own distinct fighting style. Some bosses are humanoid with long weapon combos that force you to stay on your toes whilst others are giant creatures with devastating area of effect attacks that require precise positioning. Each boss fight feels like a puzzle and figuring out the best strategy to defeat them immersively satisfying. Despite its linearity, Black Myth Wukong does offer some opportunities for exploration the world is filled with hidden paths, side quests and NPCs that add depth to the narrative. However, the dense and detailed environment can sometimes make it difficult to distinguish between explorable areas and mere background scenarios. This can lead to some frustrating moments but the reward of discovering a hidden quest or secret area often makes up for the worth of the effort. The game also incorporates elements of Chinese mythology in its world design. You will encounter wandering wonders and surreal phenomena that are common in this world, making explanation feel magical and unpredictable. Characters and creatures you meet along the way are inspired by folklore, adding to the game's rich tapestry and storytelling. For me, one of the most exciting aspects of Black Myth Wukong is the magic system. Early in the game, you gain access to a spell called Immobilize, which freezes enemies in place for a few seconds. This spell is incredibly powerful, allowing you to reposition yourself and land several hits while the enemy is immobilized. It's a game changer, especially in tough battles. There are four slots for spells. As you progress, you unlock more spells to choose from. Each spell has the unique effects and cooldown times adding a layer of strategy to combat. Transformation spells are another highlight. After defeating certain bosses, you can transform into their forms, gaining their abilities and an extra health pool. This adds a whole new dimension to gameplay, as you can switch forms to adapt to different combat situations. Customization is another area where Black Myth Wukong shines. The game offers a variety of equipable items that you can modify like your staff and armor pieces with stat bonuses and special effects. 
These items are colour coded similar to loot games with rare epics and more. For instance, you can find a circlet that allowed me to chug healing groans with sprinting while, which proved invaluable in several fights. After spending time playing Black Myth Wukong, I can confidently say that this game has a lot of potential, it's beautiful visuals, engaging combat and unique take on Chinese mythology make it a standout in the crowded action RPG genre. While there are some areas that need refinement, particularly in level design, the overall experience is incredibly promising. This game is set to release on PS5 and PC on August the 20th with Xbox Series XS version coming on at a later date due to optimization issues. I'm eagerly anticipating the full release to see how the story unfolds and what other surprises the game has in store. So I want to thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the review don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. I'll be seeing you in the next video.